Oh, okay. The reality is YouTubers lives are so lazy and so easy. No. Welcome guys to my daily life. As you guys saw earlier in the video, the first thing I like to do honestly getting out of bed is check emails. Um, honestly, after that, I run through Instagram a little bit. I feel like everybody does that. Uh, probably check DMs and stuff like that. And then uh, ultimately I end up looking for some car deals because I mean, hey, you, you can never have too many cars. If the deal's there, a deal's there, you gotta cop it. But this is something that I see on the daily. You're right, you're right. I mean, I, I wake up every single day and uh, I mean, I just I just film a video and uh, it gets posted on YouTube and I sleep the rest of the day. Like, life's pretty dang easy. No, it's really not. Being a YouTuber, especially an automotive YouTuber, just to put it out there, guys, costs so much money. I think, honestly, if I show you guys my bank statement, I'm gonna try to throw some kind of picture over here, but I think I, I, on my credit card, I spend probably like close to five to seven grand. And uh, in reality, as a YouTuber, um, you don't really make much. I show you guys how much I made in January and February, like full heartedly. This is the amount that YouTube paid me for January and February. And as you guys can see, YouTubers are not rich. They're really not. And the work that we put into our videos and the work that we spend, we gotta go out there, we gotta record, we gotta edit. Um, we got to pretty much think of the YouTube ideas. We got to invest a lot of money. Um, end of the day, being a YouTuber, honestly, is not profitable unless you get super big. And uh, end of the day, obviously, that's the goal. We all wish and we all strive for that. But uh, end of the day, to get there, it's not as easy as it seems. And for even at someone at my subscriber count, 160,000 subscribers, I still haven't made it myself. I'm still working on it. I'm still trying my best. $2,000 a month, guys, is pretty much minimum wage. Anywhere you work at 24 hours, I mean, not 24 hours, 40 hours a week. And I feel like, honestly, I'm devoting so much time and effort into my videos. And uh, I feel like, I'm, I mean, YouTube's always in my head. I'm always looking out for the next deals. I'm always looking up, uh, you know, what YouTube videos I should film. Um, it's my life and I love it. It consumes me and I love it. This is what I'm passionate about. So end of the day, yes, to me, I enjoy it and I love it. But for those of you guys who always DM me and say, hey, Nor, your life is so easy, bro. You should do more. I'm like, I'll do more. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna go like, I'm not gonna go full crazy or anything like that. Uh, but honestly, like wholeheartedly, for all these other YouTubers and uh, for any YouTuber that's watching this video, um, they know how hard it is to upload on a daily basis or just try to upload um, very consistently. Um, it takes a lot of effort. I mean, for somebody like me that loves YouTube, um, it's not as hard to motivate myself to upload these videos because I'm passionate about it. Um, for others, obviously, that are not passionate about it, I'm sure it's very difficult. But still, even when I'm very passionate about YouTube, it's not easy thinking about new ideas every single day, thinking about the next thing that's gonna take the channel off. Um, it, it, it's actually very stressful and honestly, it, it, and honestly, it will never get easier because as a YouTuber, you always have to be creative every single day. That being said, guys, we also sometimes plan for videos and the videos will end up happening uh, because things just get delayed. For example, my 328, I was supposed to pick up the car today. That was supposed to be today's video, um, but unfortunately, it is pushed back another day at least. So we won't be able to pick it up till like tomorrow and I still gotta find somebody to help me pick up that car. Um, so that's gonna be a little bit difficult. And the belts are still being done at LND Solutions. So we technically can't drive the Supra because I'm not driving that car without seatbelts and we can't really take it to the body shop and get a quote and get an estimate and get put on the wait list because I don't want to drive it in the current condition. Without seatbelts, that is so unsafe, especially a 30 minute commute. So yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, what us YouTubers have to do to keep our bills afloat. So obviously YouTube does not pay well. I mean, you guys just saw it. For January and February, I made under two grand both those months and uh, I was I was posting quite consistently those two months, I believe. Other things that keep me afloat, honestly, is you guys' support through merch. So if you guys want to support your boy, check out the merch down below. That would be so, so, so awesome. I know a lot of you guys asked me to drop some new merch. I will be dropping some new ones pretty soon, some custom ones, I think, for the Supra. I think it's gonna be pretty dope. That's gonna be coming up hopefully in the near future. I haven't even started any of the orders 
numbers on that just yet, but hopefully in the near future there will be some merch coming out for the Supra. Uh, but for the meantime, guys, if you guys want to support your boy, check out that merch down below. That is another way we try to keep our bills afloat. That's another way that we try to get more money to invest back into the channel. Just to put it in perspective, guys, if I'm making over here kind of like minimum wage through YouTube and I have to go spend a thousand dollars on a door, you can see how stressful that can be because a door, what is that? It's going to be less than a video. That's not even painting it or anything like that. And uh, you know, that makes one video out of the 15 videos that I typically upload a month because I spend, I, I do every other day uploads typically. So yes, not only do I do YouTube, not only do I do merch or work on orders, uh, but honestly, I try to get some flips, whether that's on offer up or whatever, I do things off camera. If I find a good deal on something, I buy it, I go flip it, um, whether that's an iPhone, a MacBook, a car, car parts, whatever it is, I try to get those things, I try to flip it off camera so I can get more money to fund my hobby and be able to constantly make these videos. And of course, I do have affiliate links that also help out so, so, so much. Um, my primary ones are with Burger Tuning and Keys Motorsports. So for those of you guys who always buy things from Keys Motorsports or Burger Tuning using my links or my discount codes, I truly appreciate you guys. You're truly helping the channel. And honestly, without working on every single one of those income streams, I wouldn't be able to do what I'm doing today. So that's all I'm saying. Um, for those of you guys who constantly say YouTubers' lives are super easy, um, especially if that's your full-time job, it's not as easy as it seems, especially considering that YouTube does not pay you well whatsoever. I love YouTube, I love the platform, I love the opportunity that they have given us. I mean, a lot of content creators could probably see the exact same thing. I mean, just think about it, for example, for people that actually have great voices that sing and stuff like that. To get noticed before YouTube, you would have to go on like an American Idol or get some other, you know, you have to get lucky and have somebody sign you somehow. It's very difficult to get your name out there. Through social media, you could just sing on YouTube and if it ends up trending, you're all of a sudden just famous. So that's super cool. So I love the opportunity that I have on YouTube, but at the end of the day, it's not as easy as what everyone makes it out to be. But that is no excuse for me to try my absolute best to make the best content that I could possibly do, and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So, one place that I actually tried to go flip some car parts at is uh, pick and pull. So let's head down to pick and pull um, just because, I mean, come on, we don't want to sit home and just talk about life and bills and all that stuff. We want to head down to pick and pull and see if we can flip anything or possibly pick up some parts for either an E92 M3 or a 328 because they have a bunch of E90 chassis over there and a bunch of E46 chassis and sometimes we find some good things that can honestly make videos with it or sometimes we just find some expensive things that are worth selling to buy things that we can do videos with. So without further ado, let's head down to pick and pull. Guys, is that what I think it is? <laughs> Guys, we just entered. So basically this is a pickup pole, it's an I pull, you pull. But I believe this is an F10 and this is a for sale car. This is not a part out car. So they're selling the entire car here. I mean, check this thing out. What the heck, bro? This thing is in such good condition. I mean, like at least paint wise, got the white guts. Does that have heads up? Doesn't have heads up, but who cares? I mean, why am I being so picky? <laughs> This is crazy. I've never seen a complete car. We got the rear bump. We got the front bumper in there. Looks like all the oil coolers and everything are back there as well. We got the front crash bar. Obviously, a lot of things got damaged, but guys, that is crazy. A full F10 is here. So clearly, it looks like this one's been in an accident, which is a good thing. That makes me believe that the engine is still really good. What car is this, though? Is it a 528? <laughs> it's an N55 335, guys. Honestly, this is a cop. What the heck? How is this here, dude? Like, how did, did, did someone donate this? That is crazy. The frame rolls are straight on both sides. That is crazy. Guys, I'm gonna have to ask them how much this car is. I mean, what the heck? Usually all the cars are selling over here is in really good shape. But you look at those tires. Sheesh. Honestly, sitting next to it is a newer Corolla too, which is kind of crazy. Like, what the heck? Guys, I'm just, I'm just dumbfounded how they have that Corolla. First off, that Corolla is a like twenty thousand dollar car, and that F10 is like a fifteen thousand dollar car. I mean, like, how are those two cars here? I have no idea. I mean, you guys look at the prices of their cars here: two thousand, two thousand. I mean, even their BMWs over here. This is a complete BMW. I believe it's a seven series. Um, I think this one they were asking five hundred bucks though. That's like super cheap uh, for a complete car. I just don't know. I'm sure this one doesn't run because usually when the body's all intact, it typically means that there's an engine or transmission issue. There's this one over here. Here. They're asking only 2500 bucks for an E39. Uh, there's actually an E46 wagon over there. 
complete wagon, no damage. Again, I'm assuming this is here because of an engine issue. Guys, yeah, somebody broke the window sticking to open this door. <laughs> That's doing too much, dude. I'm honestly just keeping my, my, my voice down because like, I mean, what? How is there an F10, a complete F10 with a 535 motor? The engine and transmission alone, guys, if you guys don't know, is worth like seven grand. Honestly, like that, that's a, like that's a good price to buy one at. So that's crazy. Anyways, let's head down to the German section see if they have any new BMWs or anything. Guys, I'm sorry for the wind noise, but it looks like they have one E90 right over here. I mean, it has a good fender, a couple of good doors, side mirrors, uh, front crash bar looks to be bent. Stuff in the front ends be bent, but it has a motor in there. I don't know if that's any good. Dang, someone really got to this car. Had manual seats. Oh dang, both cup holders looking like they're working and stuff. Black interior. Somebody literally took a bite out of this dash. <laughs> what happened there? Looks like there's another E90. I did not see this one. This is a new one right here. What the heck? Again, guys, have you ever seen an E90 with a compartment on the side? I have never seen that before. What the heck? This is exactly what I mean, guys. This is a new E90 over here. They have the CI, the CCC controller, the nav, and the screen. The whole unit right there. I think that's a cop. Oh man, if this thing had paddles too, I would have copped the steering wheel as well. You guys can see exactly what I mean. This is not even on their website yet because this is a car they just got in. If you just do early pick and pull runs, guys, you're able to find deals like this one. I mean, this one pretty much has the whole front end. Looks like somebody got to the headlight already because that's worth money. But I mean, guys, that might be a cop. For someone that's actually building an E60, guys, this one has a rear M Sport bumper with PDC holes. Yeah, there's a little bit of damage over here, but this can also get repaired at a body shop. The tabs and everything is the main thing, and those are all good. Um, this one actually has black headliner. Like, check that out, guys. Black everything. So for someone that wants to do a conversion, this is pretty sick. What? And there's M door seals, too. Another one right there. What? That would have been so sick. Guys, this is an M Sport E60. These door sales on eBay go for good money, I think. I need to look into that. We have this one right there, one right here. Ah, oh, the driver's side is missing, unfortunately. Uh, but the rear ones are there. Even has an M Sport steering wheel. Like, guys, what the heck? This is the kind of good deals. Like, I don't have an E60 right now. I don't know the market for E60 parts, but black suede headliner, the full complete thing with everything. Um, M Sport steering wheel, the thick one. This looks super mean. Just missing the logo down there. Um, M Sport door seals rear m sport bumper i mean guys this is exactly what i mean by coming down to pick and pull if you guys know the e60 chassis market there you go i'm a huge e90 market i know they go quickly so i'm gonna get that anyways that's gonna be about 30 dollars here they go for about 200 to 300 on ebay um so that's a good cop this car actually has a sport airbag it looks like the dakota one though you guys can see when you push it in it's a pretty shot this one also has the aluminum trim package which is pretty sick uh this one over here is a 335 it actually has the uh, ccc ci I see um dashboard i sell retrofits kits to this dashboard um so honestly this may not be a bad cop for me but i don't wait for more people to pull more things out of this car then i'll come back and take this dashboard this dashboard is the black with the navigation which is the dashboard everyone wants to get when they do a cic conversion so when you guys come down to pick and pulls you can get these for like 50 40 bucks um and online they're going for like 300 it's just for me i can't ship something like that so i'm in no rush to get it but if it's still there with everything gutted out makes it super easy to pull out all right guys just got out got some chip pieces from my boy johnny he he needed this a pillar for his e90 and then he also needed uh this little trim piece a black one oem black one so that's pretty sick i got both of those for about 15 dollars. not a killer deal on those but those are parts we need um so usually when it comes to parts we need um regardless it's going to be the cheapest here and then in terms of that radio guys i uh, got that radio actually for uh 30 bucks but then i had a 20 dollars off for shopping here a lot <laughs> that's when you guys know i come here all the time so i got that for ten dollars for that radio that radio is worth about maybe like a conservatively 200 at best 300 so uh, i'm gonna clean it up throw it up on ebay and see what we get for it honestly guys i think the craziest thing is the fact that we just saw an f10 at a pick and pull basically for sale the whole car for sale i mean even if they part out that car guys i'm coming here for that motor i've never pulled a motor out of a car before but you know it's worth money guys when Ooh, it's an f10 535 motor and i'm sure it's good because the airbags are pulling they drove it till they crashed it and then after it crashed to pull the airbags they couldn't drive it if you guys know what i mean that's why I'm, that's why i like bmws because i understand them and i know after an accident there's a good chance that motor's still good hey guys we are officially back home uh typically what i would do as soon as i get home honestly is probably just wash up a little bit because we came from pick and pull probably be 
Normally I get a lot more dirty than this because I would try to get some good car parts from the bottom or like the bumpers or whatever. Um, I honestly just went into the interior. It was a fresh new car. Uh, it was easy just to pull out that navigation and those pillar pieces. So uh, thankfully I'm not too dirty. Just gotta wash my hands and that's it. But yeah guys, we got the radio, which I'm gonna be listing right now on eBay. That's typically what I also do. As soon as I get some new parts, I put it up on eBay and then I take that part and I put it into my shed in the backyard uh, just so I don't clutter up my garage. And at the same time, I have inventory in that little shed. So whenever I get an order, I go to the shed, I pick up that order, I get it shipped out and bada bada bang. That's how I make some side income. And, but in this case, I do have to get the video out right now for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit that video and then start listing that stuff on eBay. But I mean, yeah, just a little bit about me, a little bit behind the scenes, a little bit about my life. Um, I'm just always looking out for deals. That's pretty much what I do. But yeah, guys, that is gonna have to conclude the video. Normally what I do throughout the rest of my day is go on my phone and I just look up deals like all day. That's all I do I'm on Offer Up, Facebook. I keep refreshing every hour or two. Um, and I just, you know, I, I honestly, that's what I do all day. Even when my wife is with me, I'm always looking out for a good deal because honestly, a deal doesn't wait for you. If you stop looking at 5 p.m. and you start the next day, maybe someone listed something at six. Now this may be an addiction, but it is my addiction. I am happy with it. I get to make some nice flips on the side and I get to, this is just what I enjoy. It's what makes me happy. And normally I don't get to just get my videos out this early for you guys. Normally I would have to go work on my car and do those other things. Uh, so normally uh, when I'm working on my car, it does take me hours and hours at a time. For example, like those current airbags the other day, took me like five, six hours alone just to actually get the job done. And then of course, on top of that, I still need to edit it and get it out there to you guys and record it all. I mean, recording only makes things a little bit harder when you're actually trying to get something out of the car. <laughs> I am not making this video to tell you guys, hey, yo, look at Noor's life. It is hard. It's really not because I enjoy what I do. And that's the beauty about doing what you love for a living. Um, if you do what you love, you're not really like, you, you don't feel like you're trying so hard. I, I don't feel like um, I have to get up and go to pick up to get parts to flip. I don't feel like I have to get up um, to go work on my car. I don't feel like I have to get up and edit. Well, sometimes on that, I'm not a huge fan of editing. <laughs> but to make a small sacrifice to do everything else that I love is well worth it. So yeah, guys, I guess if I'm trying to make a point whatsoever in this video, for those of you guys who are trying to become self-employed, for those of you guys who are trying to turn social media into your dream job, um, I honestly recommend chasing after what you love. I mean, a lot of people, they go into stock channels, they go into investment channels, because those channels, honestly, generate the most amount of money like you guys if you guys make a stock video um, a stock video that gets 1,000 views is like the same for me making a car video with 30,000 views like a stock video if you're averaging like 10,000 views a video um, you're making crazy money like over 10 G's a month if you're uploading consistently of course but that's the reality if you chase after money it's gonna feel like a pain you have to get up you have to do research on stocks you're gonna have to do the stocks you're gonna have to edit the video if you don't enjoy any of the process you're never gonna actually want to elevate your editing you're never gonna actually want to try even harder. You're just gonna keep doing the bare minimum and ultimately that's not gonna ever lead to any success. I honestly recommend if you love working on cars and you love social media, you do what I do. If you don't like actually working on cars like I do, you could just end up getting a nice car. You like hanging out with your friends, just film those events with your friends edit those events as memories and publish that on YouTube and you get to enjoy what you do every day for a living. Go hang out with your friends, just record it all, vlog it, get something to eat that you enjoy. Um, just eat. As long as it's entertaining and you're enjoying it, people can see that through the video and that's what's important. So yeah, just to wrap this up, if you do what you love for a living, it makes it so much easier and honestly, it feels like you're honestly never working a day in your life. Um, yeah, there are some parts that are stressful, but that, that's life, that's life. Nothing is just cut and dry, but yeah, guys, God bless. I love my life. I love you guys. I love all the opportunities that come my way. And if you guys are enjoying these daily uploads, make sure to smash that like button. Again, if you guys will support the channel in any way, make sure to check out that link down below to buy some merch, support your boy. But without further ado, you guys, uh, your man's gonna get a video out for you guys right now. So I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.